Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com, bringing you the Medford Mass market update for the week ending November 17th. You know, we go Wednesday to Wednesday. We got a couple of sold properties, one under agreement, one new. So let's check them out. 112 Ashcroft Street Road. I'm sorry. It's a three bedroom, one bath colonial. It uh, is up off Lawrence Road and um, it is a 1,500 square foot property that has uh, sort of 5,100 square foot lot and it does appear to um, be waiting a new owner. Uh, we do see some wood paneling. It, it does disclose right off the bat that it does have an older roof and um, the property is priced a little bit above the assessed value but this is a, a great area and um, I'm assuming that's going to go uh, fairly quickly. We got 10 Burnside that was on for 119 days which is uh, from Spring Street to Lawrence Street and uh, it's a 1400 square foot three bedroom one and a half bath nice it's a really it looks like it has a really nice flow to it uh, for a property that was built in 1890 and it does tell us that uh, the pool liner is in need of replacement soon however that's a pretty pretty looking pool you can see that uh, there's no cover on the pool so maybe the pictures were taken um, a while ago actually it's been on the market for 119 days it does it looks like it came off the market or oh, actually this is the under, under agreement one so this is um i came out at 369 dropped it down to 329 eventually they got their offers then we got leon circle which sold this is a four bedroom two bath colonial garrison a huge lot and in quotations it says the medford acre it's a 13,000 square foot lot 2500 square foot home you just saw in that picture, it's a nice size backyard. Um, great hardwood floors. It has, has some older cabinets. I'm not not noticing a dishwasher, so you, you might want to do something with that. But 370, it, um, it is right around the assessed value for that property. And they got it sold in 10 days. So um, it's obviously desirable. And uh, even though it could use a couple updates, um, it definitely moved quickly. So. We'll move on to 286 Grove Street. It was on the market for over 100 days, I think I just saw. 110. Uh, it's on the Winchester Town Line, uh, close to it, off of Gro on Grove Street. And this is a nice house. It, you know, We're seeing a lot of these Medford Colonials go for uh, high fours, low fives, and they're only one and a half uh, baths, which is um, something that I didn't really seem to... Um, I thought you know, it would have more of the full two baths, but that is what is going on with the Metro Colonials and certainly in this area that the, they were built with one and a half, um, one and a half baths and that's the way they, that's the way they come. So this property too is the market value is much higher than the assessed value. And if you travel through some of the communities, you can see that there is a correlation between the assessed and what the sales prices are actually doing, but not in this pocket of Medford. You can see that, um, properties here are still getting a lot more than what uh, the assessed value is and you can see that you know even some of the buyers that i'm working with think that the assessed value is what the property is appraised at or what the market perceives it at and it's not the case and we have a responsibility to educate them that market price is not connected to the uh, assessed value which is deemed by the city so let's throw in all of medford to see what's going on Jump up to 91 properties, and we have um, a couple of price changes. 51 Chandler. Uh, we have an average list price of 393 with a market time of let's call it 100 days. Uh, the property that went under agreement went for less than that and took more time. And then you can see that the uh, average sales price is 425 and took a market time of 60 days. So there's no good connection this week. We can see that the the theory that we like to see that when the list price, the average list price of the active in the market time, we like to see that the property um, is consistent. So if the average under agreement price is less than the market time is less, and that's just not the case this week as it does sometime happen. So that is your Med for Mass Market update. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 978-835-6870, or you can email me at ryan at ryancavino.com. We'll talk to you soon.